in today's video, I'm going to be making you look infected. And no, I'm not going to be touching your private parts with Billy's private parts from down the road. <laughs> but I'm going to be getting my friend Brianna up here because she is chlamydia positive. Okay? <laughs> to be showing you how to create a vein effect and then I threw in a zombie something bit me that wasn't good. Also this look I just did one contact because number one can't see shit with two contacts in and number two couldn't get the second contact in and number three it goes with the look right? Virus, virus, virus. Anywho, if you want to stay tuned to see the video, just keep watching. We're going to start off with some illustrator palettes. These are super expensive, but if you're into effects makeup, they are really valuable. They are super good if you're working on set because they are alcohol based, which means that if you get water on you, they're not going to run off. They only come off with pretty much alcohol or remover. I'm going to do my Necromania palette and I'm going to make a bit of a green color. I'm mixing Dead Flesh. Frankenstein and gray matter together. All right, so you can't really see it too good, but we just mixed this color here, um, Frankenstein and gray matter, and you're just getting a nice pale color. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit more of the Frankenstein to add that green, kind of dead color. I'm gonna add a little bit of the dark moss just to bump up the green and make sure there's not too much on my brush so I'm going to add some alcohol to it to dilute it and then I'm going to take the brush and go to the areas where the bite is going to be. Right now it's a pretty good color but it's not as dark as we want it so I'm going back with the dark moss. Then I'm going to take a sponge, rip it apart, spray your sponge with alcohol just blending out parts that look a lot like paint and then the thing about doing a kind of infected zombie bite is that there's really no correct color scheme to work with so um, I'm just going to be using colors that kind of make me look infected dead to go in with a yellow color and then make sure to go in with the sponge so you don't have all the brush strokes you can just use the sponge to and then we can kind of see that it's starting to look like something bad is happening under the skin I'm going to work it up the neck. Okay, and now we're going to take some sort of ready purple color. Use any type of red color or a mix of red and a purple. And then this is going to be the underlay of the bite because that's where it's going to be the most red. And just do it in somewhat of a circular shape. underlay of color. Now what I'm going to do is take yarn and cut a little piece off and then get it so you just have one strand. You don't want to have a whole bunch of big chunks. It wants to be really thin. So here's the blue one and then you get these little pieces. These are going to be our veins. Take some latex. Take a, another sponge. So, so far I've found that it's easier to just put the latex in a line like this. Take your vein, push it in and then you're good instead of doing an area because it is drying super fast. Alternate through the blue, essentially you just need blue and red, but the orange is kind of a nice transition color.
If you have other kind of random colors, you can use them too because like I said, there's no set colors. Okay, now I'm going to take these components A and B. It's called third degree. They come with two different components. I'm sure there's lots of videos on YouTube of how to use these. And then I'm going to do it in this vicinity. Just going to brush it on. I'm just going to add some more latex because there are bits that weren't glued down, which I didn't realize. Once you have the components mixed, you can apply. Now originally I started off with doing a half circle, but instead I decided to leave the two sides kind of open and just mold it on there and make it kind of irregular rather than your just everyday bite mark. I might have to have a mid video snark. 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 I'm infected by kitty love. Mm, if that's what kitty love looks like, I don't want none. Okay. All you can see is my mouth, but you are going to take this one here. It's just called aged blood, okay? Alright, we're going to take aged blood and I'm going to take it from the teeth and pull outwards. So the teeth are pretty screwed up since I they messed... They need braces. <laughs> <laughs> they need braces. Since I messed up, um, but I'm gonna go with it because we don't really know what kind of creature bit us. So they could have pretty messed up teeth and as long as it looks pretty gory, it'll still have the same effect. Going in with bruise tone and dabbing that in the middle. Then I'm gonna go in with the aged blood and blood tone mixed together. Now the next portion is to color the third degree so that it looks like your skin. So I am going to use my complexions palette, but I'm sure lots of the other palettes have complexion colors too. I'm not sure if this is really necessary, but I'm going to dust the Ben Nye translucent powder all over everything. First I'm going to use the thick blood again. I'm going to take the runny blood and put it in the middle. you guys if you enjoyed please like share and comment and I will see you guys in my next video bye hey guys it's Michaela just chilling out my hooves roar roar oh shit I got my period darn They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together hooky, the Adams family. Hi guys, so today I filmed a Wednesday Adams makeup tutorial for you all, and I used.